we explore more interest so uh, there are families uh, in arohi uh, sitting in mumbai pune surat uh, bangalore chennai dubai everywhere means all the families are there we all connect online via zoom medium so we have a, a zoom account uh, which is there uh, 24/7 and we have discord on which we keep sharing what we are doing what the ch what our children are doing children share what they are doing they share uh, uh, in the form of uh, videos photographs or writing they share their planning what they are planning to do in a day in a week they share their reflections what they did what they missed what uh, so all of this keeps happening we have community circles uh, starting circle of the week ending circle of the week then we have parenting circles where parents come together we discuss our issues our concerns or we cry together we live together we enjoy together which whatever you call it then uh, we have youth circle in which only youth comes in and they discuss their issues their problems or their happiness their fun whatever they want to discuss so that way we are all sharing and uh, understanding each other's needs and we are holding each other plus most importantly we are getting exposed to many many new things which maybe we are not exposed at our place sitting at our place you know like for uh, we are expanding ourselves if you uh, say so like we uh, the more we get to know from different people the more we discuss we expand our uh, horizon of learning and uh, understanding so for example for me i had never known there is something called surfing and i can really do it uh, i had never known there is something called paragliding and i paragliding and i can do it uh, there is something called skiing and i can do it means there are certain things which we know that they these exist but can we go and do it so that was always a question mark in my head but with the community there uh, with different different people doing different different things we get to know ki okay all of these people are doing this so some things we do together some things we explore together and we do it individually also we go and do it by ourselves or some things we go together and do it together as a community so lots of things happen in community means if i'll now talk i can talk for 2 hours and it will not end so yeah i think this much is okay Right. So also yeah, to clarify, uh, to compare, the idea is that the open learning happens at the family level, uh, right? And so, or rather at an individual level, and then the that individual is supported by the family. So it happens at the home. And then how do you further connect with more people who are also doing and whom you can do things with? That's where you either, uh, there are obviously three, I see three options. One is Obviously, I can connect with locally whoever is available around me, uh, those families who are doing it within the city that I live in. Plus, I can also be part of Arohi and connect online on a daily basis, connect with different people and do different things together. Uh, like we could be singing together, doing origami together, doing, uh, doing accounting together and so on. And... Uh, the third option is obviously we also have our OE campus. We can come here and stay together and do things together. So that's that's it. But the but the core part, please remember, is that we are doing open learning as a family first. It's a family thing. It's the community is there because these families want to come together and also do a lot of things together and learn and feel supported together. And that's a huge support. Uh, but that only comes after uh, the family. So the most important unit, I would say, is the family. And then families coming together is what makes ROE. Whether online, whether at campus, whether they are traveling together, families traveling together to another place, all these are uh, you know, ways in which we can be all together in this journey. And uh, one more point. One last point, Ankit. Uh, one more point that we, uh, like the beautiful, uh, the most, uh, like um, the masalada part of it is the age group, the mix of age group, like the way we mix together and do everything together, be it a five-year-old or 50-year-old, we are all, all doing everything together. So there is nothing like uh, only a 50-year-old can teach a five-year-old or only a five-year-old can ask for something. It's all, we all ask each other, we all learn from each other and we all teach each other. That's the way we do things. 
Yeah, Ankit, you were asking, sir. Yeah. I was just uh, curious to know, uh, yeah. like, when, when, when we look at, you know, uh, at the extreme end of an spectrum, wherein, you know, a child is going to a school, uh, he or she is spending almost like 8 to 10 hours over there. Uh, then she or she would come back with the homework thing. Uh, maybe once in a week or twice in a week, parent would check in or maybe I would check that okay what is happening what is not happening when the exams are coming I would just you know maybe spend slightly more time to just check in that okay um, from more from this exam perspective it's up TK and you know you will get good grades or not right so that's the only uh, I would say kind of you know uh, time wherein I'm talking or you know we are interacting now I'm hearing, I mean, the way you elaborated, Ritnesh and Priti, like, it's a family thing. Uh, open learning was all about the families going through this journey together. So I'm more curious to listen to some stories, like, you know, because uh, more from a time commitment perspective, uh, because at the other extreme, I mean, I am doing my job and she's doing a school and all of that is happening. But when we are, when we are doing there are the family together from an open learning perspective like uh, what happens exactly like do we do the same things together let's say we decide that okay we'll read a book so whatever pace she is reading because right now she is she will be reading only the book for the whole day if i'm not doing my job i would read maybe 30 minutes uh not more than that so so just on curious like how what together this happens and maybe some stories and that okay namrita okay. you want to share how, how do you do it because uh one short answer ankit is that every family does it very differently so there's no one standard answer and that's where it's a great idea to meet different families interact with them and learn from them so let's learn from namrita <laughs> thanks Ratne. so uh i i strongly believe that uh, open learning starts the moment i look at my child as a sufficient child as a child who is ready to take the responsibility and I'm ready to give the responsibility. So when Ratnesh and Preeti are saying that it is a family thing, definitely it is a family thing. But if the dynamics of my family are like that, uh, both the parents are busy, then can I give the responsibility to the child of its own planning, own structured learning or non-structured learning or what are the areas of interest which the child wants to explore? And then my my involvement with the child can be very limited because I have given responsibility to the child and the child is very well sufficient and efficient enough to, um, to fulfill that responsibility for its own self, right? Then it's just a matter of trust and just explore together. Are wow, kya kya? Are wow, beautiful. That's great. So what did you learn today? Oh, wow, that's awesome. So what are you planning tomorrow? Achha, aisa hai. That's great. So can you do this thing? Okay, can you explore this way? So maybe this is just the interaction I'm having at the end of the day as a family on a dinner table. When both the parents are supposed busy with this job. So I think, um, I think um, even though it is a family thing, but my involvement, I can keep the way I want considering the fact that my child is capable of learning whatever is his or her area of interest is. And that's how honestly we are operating as a family because my husband is also busy. I'm also so-called passionate about whatever I'm doing, right? So <laughs> I, I honestly uh, am not able to give that time to my child. But then whatever limited time I'm able to give, I'm able to connect with the child. I'm able to uh, look into what are his area of, of interest, what is it that he's doing differently or how he is overall putting in his time properly. Then we reflect on it on weekends or on uh, days together at the end of the day maybe. And uh, I think that becomes sufficient for us as a family that has at least worked out for us. <laughs> No, no, I'm just saying, okay, I'm just processing. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so uh, Ankit, uh, at the heart of open learning and the unit of family lies co-creation. Uh, the idea is not that just the child is doing a journey of learning. The idea is that all of us are doing. Now, the moment we consider ourselves also 
equal to the child and child also equal to us. And we say, let's co-create. Just like you are in a car right now. So you all are going somewhere. So that's like co-creating a journey. Each one will have their own needs. Somebody will say, I want to stop and have an ice cream. Somebody will say, no, 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 no. I want to reach there first. So, you know, there, there will always be different needs and wants. But we co-create. We listen to each other. We work with each other. Not like as a parent, I need to now leave everything and only, only feed the child ice cream. Not at all. Or only tell where the child is going to say, go there. I don't want to go where you are going. But that does not mean we also don't listen. to it. So it's, a, it's, a, it's at a fundamental level of co-creation within the family members. And as much as the child's needs are important, our needs are also important. And as much as our needs are important, the child needs are important. So we also start changing our, our life based on how I can fulfill my needs as well as the child's needs. In the same way, the child also starts working in such a way that the child can fulfill his or her needs as well as connect with our needs. Yeah. Now, we, that's what I'm saying. There, there are multiple players on the field and we have to work together as a team. Right. Based on each one's needs and wants. So it's a beautiful, I would say, dynamic uh, situation which changes on an everyday basis. Again, there is no formula. Right, I'm not saying it will work the way the it is working for Namrata today. It will work the way tomorrow. Every day is different. Every month is different. As the children grow older, it is different, and so on and so forth. the 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 best part is that there is a huge amount of bonding. Even if we are spending five minutes, as Namrata was saying, even if just that small dialogue is happening, there is huge amount of bonding. We have because we are connecting at a at a need, at a want, at a responsibility, at a at, a, at, at an equal level with each other. And that brings in a lot of energy between uh, all of us. And that I see as a huge, huge plus. Because it's not that you are doing this for the child, but you are doing it with the child. In fact, for all you know, the child may help you in your work more than you help the child in his work. We think we have to homework. No, no, that's our homework. Right? So that's the beauty of it. When we, we don't look at them as we dependent on them or they dependent on us, but we are looking at we all of us being interdependent. We are co-passengers in the car just like you are right now. <laughs> so so it, that's the beauty of it. I'm saying that's not just the way of it. I think that's the most precious part of it, which is often not talked about. We keep talking about 10th kese denge, future kese banayenge, and chodo, chodo future, yaar. The joy of journeying together is so amazing. You'll forget all future past and all the ups and downs and all the roller coaster and all the fights and all the conflicts because you'll have all of that. The real joy is of this whole together journey. That's yeah, true. Well, I mean, I the kind of analogy which you gave with respect to know, a car journey together, it's so joyful. <laughs> yes. Because there is no dependency in terms of, you know, okay, I will do this for, I mean, you have to do this, you have to do that. We're just going somewhere, we're just enjoying the road together and listening to each other and all of that. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> Right, so we have about yeah, 10 more minutes. Uh, we, we meet five to six. So more thoughts. Uh, anybody, uh, either in Lakshmi Prabha, you have been quiet. Since that yeah. yeah. Yeah, please go ahead. Please go ahead. <laughs> uh, we are from Coimbatore, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't uh, see much families doing this. Um, unschooling or homeschooling here. Most of the kids are going for the regular schooling. So we want to stay connected with some people uh, in the uh, in this locality. So, uh, so our kid also, uh, you know, um, can uh, can talk to more people and uh, uh, have some exposure. Sure, sure. Yeah, there are families in Coimbatore. Uh, also, uh, so so I, I would suggest first expand this whole definition of your child being exposed to different things. If I, uh, in, in, Piti, why don't you share how one child, like your daughter has been connected with so many different people. So not just the same age, not just, uh, 
No, because see, uh, what one thing you have to keep in mind in any city you are, even if there are let's say five hundred families doing open learning, they are all in their own homes. Now, physically to always connect and go to their home or them coming to your home, even though you are in the same city, is not so easy. Whether yeah. you are in Pune, there are so many. Coimbatore, there are so many families. M Mumbai, there are so many families. But it's not practical that every day you go and meet somebody. right but which is why it is important that we def we broaden the whole definition of what is it to be with others it you don't need to be with only with open learners priti you take over you tell me you tell us about mishti how she has connected with like berserk like so many people so um i won't before that i just want to share one thing i think ankit was talking about it and uh, i really want to share this part that uh, so in our place uh, we as a family uh, we sit uh, we uh, discuss in a week about our doings and all of it and uh, so our daughter she uh, she makes her own timetable weekly timetable and all of it on a board on a white board so one fine day uh, i was little upset with her and i was like uh, uh what are you doing and that kind of thing and i just uh, uh, wiped out everything from the board okay cleaned up the whole board completely it was white clear white nothing was there on the board whereas when she writes it is so much written that uh, it is like kide makode chal rahe like that so it was absolutely white and i uh, she was sleeping that time she got up next day and she, i she saw that board and she moved around and then i asked her what do you feel about the board uh, what do you see in uh, on the board so she said um, i see an opportunity to rethink about all my planning about my uh, all my interest and everything and replan everything and think more about it and write it again nicely so that's how uh, we uh, they plan it is not genuinely it is not about we getting into their plans and telling them you do this or that it's not like that they are themselves so responsible they are themselves so uh, so up to date about their own interest and everything that they do it then and they want to do it and everybody we all want to do it right ankit namrata ratnesh who doesn't want to do more in life so same way they also want to do something so yeah so that is one thing like how planning and all what you were asking keep how do we do as a family and we don't have time and all of that so they manage themselves well so that is one and for uh, socializing and meeting people so um, for uh, mishti uh, very honestly in the place we are in mumbai there are more than 100 families who are following open learning or homeschooling but believe me i don't meet anybody we don't meet anybody okay here physically in in the in the city but uh we are connected with the world in such a way that we never feel a need of anybody uh, you know uh, connecting in the sense that there's so many people so many friends all age groups um she connects with the whole of arohi be it an adult of 60 year 70 or uh, old age person or be it a 5 year old or 7 year old or 8 year she's 11 year old right now and um, she connects on different interests she connects so um, whatever she will do she uh, she goes wherever she makes new friends uh, she makes friends with uh, ratnesh also with uh, ansh also with namrata also with muskan also so everybody all age groups will be her friends she goes for malkam for her sports practice every day there she makes friends uh, then like that means um, i don't know how to really it will yeah. be a way so just, just to add is just to add one fine day she also started interning with a sabzi seller so that and she made friend with that akka who was sitting on the road side selling vegetables and i think she was interning with her for a week or something like this so so yeah. your friend yeah, for that even week, today they ask for her <laughs> yeah so for one <laughs> week your friend time. can be the vegetable seller why not anybody can be our friend and we can learn from every, anybody in some ways krista is asking do you also work on one topic with more than so i'm not very sure krista have understood your question is it about we as in people in arohi working with chinchal or is it about the parent um uh, 
so I'm I'm not very sure about your question. Maybe if you can come on mic, I'm we might be able to understand it better. But I I think if you're asking as a parent, would I work one to one with the child on a topic? Well, that depends on you and the child. If the child needs it and you think you would be the one who would do it with the child, please go ahead and do it. If you don't feel like, I'm sure the child can find many other resources, uh, many other well, people. Yeah. Yeah, um, uh, I want my child. Uh, and yeah, please, please. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, it's just for you know helping. Um, um, for me and so I uh, actually want my child to connect with uh, some other uh, kids also. Sure, sure. But you see, yes. if you want your child to connect with other kids, other even other kids and of all ages and even other adults, you don't. You may want it, but I, I'm saying you don't need to do anything about it. The child, when he or she needs it, will find his or her own way, his own way of connecting with other people. Uh, not the way we want it, but the way he wants it or the way his style is. Everybody's style of connecting with other people, of being with other people, even learning from other people is different. It is not the same. How I connect, Preeti connects very differently, Namrata connects very differently. So it is, it's important to realize that let, let's give that responsibility which Namrata was talking about. Let's give that to the child and have and give that and realize that the child is sufficient to be able to build that relationship, build those friendships with anybody. Wow. It could be another child, it could be another adult, it could be another whoever, neighbor, friend, relative, however it is, for whatever need. Uh, so I'm again connecting to Krista's question. If a child needs to learn something, I'm sure the child can find a way to learn it. We don't necessarily need to create, create something for the child. Unless the child comes and asks us, you create. Then it's up to us whether we want to create or not. I, I, want, to, I want to add one more thing here that we do a program called Jagriti. Now, Jagriti is not specifically for homeschoolers, unschoolers. Specifically. It is for any parent. But I would, I personally think that that program would really benefit any parent who who wants to understand their child and and kind of work with their child and and kind of take that journey forward. Especially if you want to do unschooling, homeschooling. So do consider that program. We are starting a batch on fifteenth November, so about a month later. So do look at that program mm -hmm. and do consider that program. Whether you do open learning or not in your life, that's immaterial. Yeah. So I think that that will also give you a lot more understanding of how whether the whether the child wants to become more you know have more friends or you want the child to have more friends. How do you work that through? What do you do? How do you co-create with the child and so on? So I I I think that is something that I can invite you. It's 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 not a very big program, though. Hopefully the effect of it lasts much much longer right so i'll just put the uh, the link for that also so that's that's another uh option sure. yeah thank you and that's an online program so you can do it from from let's say coimbatore or where, whichever city you are uh, thank you sir uh, for this open learning is yeah. there any uh community or website uh, huh? where we can get the materials or uh, the ideas. <coughs> That's what we are. Arohi is a community of families who are together doing this. So once you decide, hey, I so you have, in a way, these meetups will help you understand and maybe that will help you also take a decision. Do you want to do this open learning for your child, at least for some time, even if you're not sure. See, your, you said your child is eight eight years, right? Yeah. So uh, don't worry. Say I will do for one year. And then when, by the time the child becomes, let's say, nine, and you're not happy and you want the child to go back to the school or the child only wants to go back to the school, you can go back to the school. No problem. Right? So, so you can even do like that. You can explore for a year or two uh, or even three and even 10 years. And after that, you want to go back to the conventional, you can still go back. At 18, you can go back to a college. So there is no limitation like this that, okay, it has to be done 
you know only in this way so uh, this is this you are in the right meetup uh, and you can go through our website that will give you a lot of information plus keep connecting with more families doing this that's the that's the whole idea once you are more connected with more people um, and as well as uh, you know you need support as i said the the community is very much there Priti, you wanted to add something. Yeah, I want to share that uh, Shridhar and Lakshmi family. Though we uh, we do not suggest anything in this SMOL uh, meetup, but uh, the way uh, means uh, you are in Coimbatore, uh, not really far from the campus. Maybe uh, go for a week's experience at campus with your children and uh, have an experience there. Stay there for a week. Uh, so Monday to Friday, you can go there. Yeah, put uh, the link. Also. There is this. Yeah, there is a. Can you share the address and... or? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I put the link the in the chat. I put the link for both Jagriti program, stay options program. Yeah. Okay. okay. Jagriti program. Okay. Yeah, you can just. Yeah, go ahead, Preeti. No, I was just uh, only suggesting them that they are not very far off. Means yes. if you want, uh, means uh, also um, Ankit and uh, pa, uh, these guys, uh, their families are also going for the creators camp is also coming up in November. So uh, if you don't want to wait for the camp, you're nearby and you can go no, for no, a no, no, no. Uh, guest week. Uh, there is a guest week experience week in campus. Uh, can check the calendar on the link that Ratnesh has provided and maybe visit for a week. Uh, you will get a lot of clarity in you. Maybe. Yeah, okay, ma'am. We'll plan accordingly. So these are the, see these meetups on Saturday happen every Saturday. We are already at six o'clock, but we are there every Saturday. So you can join more meetups till uh, you need more, uh, you know, understanding. Ask more questions and so on. So this is one space. The WhatsApp group is there. That's another space where you can ask questions. You can come and visit us and stay with us. That I've given you the links. That's another space. Then. Um, you can also join the community from your home for a month, which Preeti was talking about. That's another. So there are different ways in which you can first experience this, understand this, and then you take the decision. And I'm telling you again that if for some reason you want to change the decision later on, go back to the school, that's also equally available, that possibility. So uh, you don't have to worry straight away about future of 10 years. First, let's see what it does to the child now. You know, we, we keep thinking about the future of the child, but we I think we should be more uh, working on the now of the child and now of us also. If we and the child are all enjoying life, I think that's what life is. It's meant to be lived now, not in future. Yes, we need to work towards the future, which is where we make the child powerful, the way Namruta was talking about making the child or inviting the child to take his or her responsibility. Yeah. So we'll talk more in the in the future meetups. And meanwhile, if you have any questions, uh, I'm sure you're already part of the WhatsApp group. So you can ask there and or on the WhatsApp. So we can take it from there. I'm also putting the WhatsApp number just in case somebody is, is not on WhatsApp groups. Yeah. So thank you, everybody, for today. Uh, we meet five to six every Saturday. So you are welcome to come again and ask questions. Uh, Krista, I'm not sure we have answered your questions. Uh, maybe on a mic, it would be a much more <coughs> full no. interaction. So look forward to that. Anytime you are able to come on to the mic, then we, we might be able to answer you better. Yeah. yeah, yeah sure. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the session. Yeah. We got a lot of information. Sure, sure. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Uh, yeah. Thank I, you. Yeah, looking forward. Yeah.